Hello, my beautiful people. This is Kyla with Geodamis. I hope you're doing well. Today, I have a Lit Joy Crate unboxing for you guys. Um, if you have been here on my channel, you know that I prefer um, buying directly from small shops or licensed merch or whatever it is. I'm not the biggest fan of crates. You don't see me open them opening them often in my channel um i do know that some people don't like spoilers that's why i decided to do it here on youtube instead of my instagram channel also geodamis but i have learned that people don't like spoilers if they don't want to see what's the content of the box they don't want to see it all over instagram so i have learned to you know i want to unbox it here whoever wants to see it see it first of all this box is gorgeous can you guys recognize that this high, this is from Seaside Spirit. He did the illustrated version of the Slovak 20th anniversary. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is Victor Crumb. Oh my goshness. Okay, love it. And here it has the cup. Okay, let's open it now. It's the, okay, first of all, Lee Joy Medical Subscription, Wizards Tournament. So it looks like this when you open it. Okay, wow. You guys can see that I'm ready, right? That I have my Triwizard shirt. I got my little golden egg. This one is from Charn Aroma. I got it on, I think the golden egg candle. And this one is from Harry Potter New York. I think you can get it also on Harry Potter Shop UK. I will link it down below. Let's see. Ooh, look, it says the Triwizard champions are selected. And it has Floor, Cedric Diggory, Harry Potter and Victor Crumb. So coming next, Magical Express. Depending on how good this is, I'll go and get the Magical Express one. Okay, okay, we don't wanna see what it is. Anyway, where do we start? Hmm, okay, so we have Voldemort here with the port key and we have the four champions. Honestly, I was saying in my Instagram that I will be definitely using the box like to put things, give a little bit of, you know, balance to the shelf because it's so beautiful. Let's see what we have here. My goodness. <laughs> okay, this is a little maze. My kids will love this one. So it's a little maze thingy. Um, okay. Again, this is something that by itself, I would not get, I would not, but I don't know. Let's see next. Let's see what's next. Ooh, okay, I know what this is. Just because it says come sick us where our voices sound. So we kinda know, like, this is the reason that I got this box. I don't usually invest in crates because I just tend to end up usually disappointed um, because it, it contains things that I would not usually get. Ooh, it says Yule Ball. Okay, it's it's okay. It's a um, bookmark. Cool. Let's get it out of the packaging. Ta-da! It's a bookmark like the Jewel Bowl Castle. Again, something that by itself I would not necessarily buy. Um, hence why I usually prefer to just buy individual items from these kind of boxes. Okay, this is pretty. This is very pretty. This illustration is something that, you know, and they sell this kind of frame sizes. I usually get them like Amazon Prime, Michaels, I don't know. But this is pretty, the goblet with the different names like coming out of it. Um, yeah, yeah, I like this, I really do. So this is something that I'm gonna put somewhere in my wall. Then we have something about the Mer people. It says Mer people, Ma Ministry of Magic Classification, BIST. About Merfolk are a legendary, mysterious, half human, half sea creature, aquatic race, sometimes known as Siren, Silky, or Mero, depending Okay, so how do you use this? I guess like it's a bookmark as well. Like this, this kind of little things, I never know what to do with them. Then we have, <laughs> this I like, freaking Beetle Rita Skitter. Okay, I do like this. I, I only collect Weasley pins. So I don't collect 
all Harry Potter pins anymore. And if you haven't read the books, this will this one will be confusing. You'll be like, what is that? Because the movies fail to end in such a great, sweet, sweet revenge tone that Germ her Germione, Hermione ended it. She was like, ha ha, I can read on a jar. So maybe I could put like a little jar and just put this beetle inside. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Again, if it was by itself, I would not buy it. So, so far, my favorite has been the illustration. Nothing else has like surprised me. Now I'm wondering which one has the best item. Okay, let's see. Okay, this box look also has like, beautiful illustrations within. Let's see. Okay, so this is a teacup. Like, you see the Grindelows or, or people, okay? Let's see. Okay. It's, it's not a, yeah, it is. It has a teacup and it has like a tea set, like a little tea mug. Okay. It's pretty if you're into those things. Mm, I wouldn't have bought it by itself. And I really do not mean to say that out of every item. It's just not my thing. Let's see. And here it is. Okay, this is cute. This this is honestly cute. It has like sea monster coming out and you have Hogwarts Castle in here and like a head wig flying. So look at the detail on the. So this is very cute. If you ask me, again, this is the thing with the crate boxes. Like I rather use the space for replicas that I actually want versus um, things that just came on a box and I accumulate but don't mean as much to me. Um, I'm not quite sure how much. I will check how much I paid for the box and I'll put it in the description down below. But I will probably be selling this ones off on my Instagram channel. So if you are interested on in getting any of these pieces, um, but you don't want to get the whole box, just hit me up. <laughs> Okay, as soon as you open it, it's right there. The best piece in the whole box. The reason I bought this box. It's the golden egg. So at first, I was afraid it was going to be a cheap, lightweight egg. It's not. It's pretty heavy. Again, I knew by the ad that it wasn't going to be a big egg because in the ad, you could see it was the hand size relation, right? So we knew it wasn't going to be a big egg okay you guys ready it's really pretty it's really pretty so no regrets on getting the box if i get to get this i'm not sure if Licho is gonna sell this um by itself they probably will but i'm not sure i don't want to make any promises and they it's like nope we're not so does it open I'm hoping it will open, honestly. Like, please open. You guys, it doesn't open. Why I was under the impression that it would open? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Ignore me. Ignore me. It does. It does. Oh, it's just that the uh, magnets are really strong, which is good, honestly, because my Pottery Barn um, jewelry holder that also opens um the magnets are not that good Pottery barn quality sometimes okay so it's not a matter of turning the little owl in there it's just a matter of like push like pulling a little bit with the magnets and it opens it doesn't have anything inside and it, i don't think it would be too ideal to store something in here um since it you see it has that space in there so things would just fall once you open it so it's not necessarily a trinket box I guess people that are very creative in Photoshop could do something um, very very beautiful with pictures and such 
But as for myself, I'm gonna display it like this in my shelf. Really pretty. They're really pretty. You, I'll compare it to the other golden eggs that we have, at least that I have in my collection. Um, but yeah, no, it's really pretty. And once this sold out, I think it's gonna be one of those things that, you know, again, we do have a lot of golden eggs options and we have the noble collection option, but this one is not bad. It's, I do not regret, you know, and it's, it's good, heavy, you know, it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't at all. If it would have felt cheap, I would have been like, don't waste your time and money. Um, no, it, it does, does feels like good quality. So that is the box, you guys. Honestly, yeah, this is the best item. I think I paid like $55 plus shipping. Um, I'll put it in the description down below. Again, if, if this cost only 55, the Noble Collection replica you can get for like 69, I think. And it's like the full size replica. It doesn't open, this one does, but it has nothing inside. So weigh your priorities and decide from there. Um, I will see you guys on the next one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.